Rosha McKay. I am a composer, a painter and a writer and I would like to invite you to a series of informal chats about art, inspiration and all things creative. Join me. Today's topic, limitation as freedom. Limitation. Hmm. Should I be using the word limitation in the same sentence with the word art? After all, when we talk about art, don't we think about the limitless human potential and the transcendence of human experiences? In the creative field, we artists want to experience it all. We want to experience every shade of every color. We want to be able to use the most precise and most profound words. And in the area of music composition, we want to explore all the harmonies, all the melodic progressions, um, all the rhythmic patterns. And yet sometimes when it comes to facing the whiteness of the creative page, we suddenly find ourselves uh, in a peculiar place. Because in a world where everything and anything is possible, suddenly nothing is possible. I know that I have found myself uh, previously in a place where I felt creatively paralyzed just because I had too many creative choices. So I would like to offer a solution to you, something for your creative consideration, and that's the concept of limitation. Next time when you are faced with the whiteness of your creative page, let your first step be setting certain parameters. Parameters that will limit your creative output. Instead of choosing all the colors of the rainbow, maybe choose two or three and come up with combinations of these colors to create something new. If you are a writer, if you are writing a novel, set parameters for yourself in the form of, for example, let your characters interact only in three specific sets, no more than three. The three seems to be a good uh, magic number. Uh, if you are a composer, think about choosing a specific set of pitches and stay only in that in that limited set and see what possibilities are available with that limitation in mind. I have recently began uh, reading biography of Georgia O'Keeffe and intend to delve deeper into her paintings, but I have already noticed that it's very hard to find any of her paintings at her very hard geometric edges. She seems to favor the curve, the, the soft, the luscious, wavy lines. And I feel that that limiting choice gives her work a very distinct, very unique flavor. And I'm sure you are familiar with the compositions of Claude Debussy. In certain of his works, he focuses specifically on the pentatonic and the octatonic scale. And again, that self-imposed limitation causes his works to have a very unique flavor, a very distinct uh, signature that is so specific to him. Excuse me for just a minute. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. Yes, but it's not really a good time. I'm filming. Oh yeah? Yes, yeah, I'm talking about the limitation in the context of art. How did you know? Okay. Chess? Oh, the game of chess. Okay. Yeah, that's a really good tip. Okay, I'll include that. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Sorry about that. That was my assistant. Chess. Hmm, very interesting concept, the game of chess. 
Think about the limitations in the context of that game. First of all, you have the black and white grid on which the pieces are supposed to move. So this is first limitation. And then each piece has its own limitation in the form of allowable moves or the ways in which the piece can move. And yet think about the multiplicity of possibilities within those limitations and think about the depth of the game that can be achieved within those limitations. I hope you will consider the concept of limitation within the context of your creative pursuits. Join me right here for more talks on art, inspiration and all things creative. Till next time. Thank you.